Okay, um, I'm live, I think. Come on, let me make sure I can see all the pages I'm supposed to see. Um, hey, mom, thanks for joining me. Um, yes, we had fun this weekend. We went to Chandler, Oklahoma, which is just up the turnpike, and um, went to like this Route 66 museum, which is also a bowling alley. New only in Oklahoma, um, it, but it was a lot of fun. I guess it's like where a biker place is or whatever. Um, and then we hit a couple thrift stores. Um, I always like the ones that are also um, like linked with a nonprofit, so you feel like you're like doing good um, and you know finding some treasures. Um, we also hit an estate sale that was really kind of cool. Um, these. Uh, three sisters so I was one of three sisters um and uh or am one of three sisters my oldest sister passed away but um so they all looked exactly alike and they were running around the house um helping um and that's where I got one of my trinket boxes that I'm super excited about um which I will show you guys uh there's a couple of items that I have um scheduled to go live on Mighty Merchants, so I wanna offer them to my Patreon first, um, so you guys will get first dibs. Um, then this video will go live on Wednesday, September 27th, um, right before I head off to Vegas for the Silver Symposium. You can still get tickets for Silver Symposium if you wanna meet me out there. Um, I've got a couple friends headed out there to meet me and um, the crew, so Pimpy's gonna be out there, Economic Ninjas out there, of course, uh, Patrick Hakeem with uh, Sat Pulse. Um, they are hosting it with Sat Stock Pulse, and um, it'll be at Caesar's Palace. We'll be there um, Friday, Saturday, and um, it's going to be a great time. I will be in the balcony at Caesar's Palace doing my um, happy hour show live, and um, I believe Economic Ninja is going to be my sidekick for the evening, and I'm sure all the gang will be there. So you can get 10% um, off your tickets by using um, a link that's in most of my videos in the description if you just go check out any of my videos, mostly. Um, not the eBay ones, but any of the other ones. Um, and it's the Road to Ruta um, link, and you'll get 10% off and a free one ounce silver coin. So um, let me share screen. And where's my scheduled items? Okay. Um, so these, this was so much fun. Oh, I've got a couple extra items. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you more than just the trinket boxes, but I wanted to do this one just about trinket boxes, but I'll go ahead and share with you the other items too. So you guys can um, grab those, but I don't have them with me. Um, the, the, these items will all list. So there's a fused um, glass evil eye it's turkish um hotty i guess uh blue um it's on this little like rope that's uh braided there are some cracks in the square um in the square bead that um just some small um cracks and there's my leg because i was taking pictures of it late at night trying to get all this stuff listed <laughs> um uh, but that is listed for 49 uh dollars so that's the buy it now price um and all these items will go live on wednesday the 27th at five o'clock um then let me get knock these items out really quick the next one is this, uh, this is a little vintage wall pocket. I guess these were popular like in the 20s and 30s. Um, it is made in Japan um, and it is a gold castle. Um, there is the made in Japan mark. Um, it's very clean, beautiful, hand painted uh, little wall pocket. And that is going for $19.99. So you guys can see that as well. Um, now let me get back to the other items. Let's see. Okay, back to the fun stuff. Now these 
were so much fun to find. Um, this one is a made by Spode for Hammersley. Um, it is a little bone china. Let me change my thing so you can see me a little bit better. Sorry, my dogs found a squirrel. They're going nuts. Um, you can see the little tiny, tiny little trinket box with the writer's crop on one side and the helmet and um, little horn on the other. Super cute. There are no chips or cracks in this. Um, so if you know somebody that's into English writing, um, something like that, that'd be a great gift. And super cute. It does have the mark on the back made in England. Um, Hammersley. Um, that one is selling. This one's uh, more affordable, only $12.99. So I think that's one of my least expensive trinket boxes. I was really surprised at some of these um, and kind of excited because I just had no idea it was such a thing. Um, this one was really fun to find. This was a, and so heavy. Um, when I picked this up, it really surprised me. This is a vintage brass. So it is really heavy. Um, Chinese cloisonne enamel um, jar or canister trinket base. Um, and it's got this beautiful teal uh, enamel inside as well. And this one's selling for, I think, 40 something. Yeah, $46. Um, it has the dragon on top and I'll kind of scroll through the pictures on here too so you can see some of the other pictures. Um, I tried to get some good pictures for you guys on there. Um, super cute. Then my next little thing. Oh, I forgot these two. Okay. Oh, I wanted to stay on trinket boxes. Okay. I bumped into these. These are so cool. These are Onyx coasters um, and really beautiful. It is this di, oh, I don't know how you say this, Dionysus. How do I say that you guys? Dionysus? Maybe that's right. Whirl green. Um, it's got a really mid-century modern kind of like a uh, holder that's in great shape there are no chips or cracks in any of this um and then a set of six coasters make sure that i show you guys each one um but just really beautiful stone coasters and they all have a cork back to them that is in great condition uh as well so these were at the estate sale that i got Ooh, my favorite trinket box that I'll show you guys in just a sec. And I got something else that I'm not selling, but I'll show you that too. There's so many cool things. Um, these you guys should go check out an estate sale sometime. It's just so much fun. Um, let's see. What is my next item? You. Let's see. Okay, back to the trinket boxes. Um, this one is in great condition and usually these little flowers um, that are applied do not survive when they're vintage like this. Um, this one was made in China so um, it's not Japanese um, so I did price it only at $15.99 um, but the flowers are in perfect condition. Um, all the petals, I'm so sorry for my dogs making so much noise they are really naughty um but then it's kind of shaped like a little drum um and it's got gold hand painted on the little drum and on the top but then the little flowers are just in perfect condition so pink white and lab my Wi-Fi is going out. What's happening? Oh no. Hopefully you can still, hopefully I'm still connected. Um, let's see. This one's selling for $15.99 as well. Um, 
try to get through this before something happens to the Wi-Fi. Um, then the next one is a, a, a quite a bit larger. It's also selling for $15.99. Um, also says made in China. It's really pretty blue and white hand painted. Um, a little square with a kind of rounded, not rounded, but a squared off edge or corners um, with the hand painted pink lotus flower in the middle. Um, and it's just under three inches across. And I took a few pictures here. Um, really pretty little box there. Um, okay, let's see. And then this next one is not a trinket box, but it's a tin that my husband found. And this was really fun. Um, this is only $7.50. I'm selling it for $7.50, but it's actually a candy tin, a vintage candy tin. So it's metal or tin. Um, and it has some ships on it. Um, it also has a little scene of like a little sheep herder guy on the front or maybe that's the back. Um, there's some cows on this side and a little uh, windmill and I don't know if those are cows. I think those are cows on that side. And um, this is, I think it's Drost, that's how you say that, but it's a, it's a chocolate tin from Holland. So these are collectible little candy tins. Um, so I have that one. And then my little treasure that I was so excited to find. Um, this is from a world fair in 1904. So this little box is 120 plus years old, or almost, yeah, 100, wait, 1904. Yes, we're in 2023. So just <laughs> under 120 years old. Um, and this was a little jewelry box. It's called a casket when it has this thick, really thick glass. Um, I watched a video about these and it was so interesting. Um, these are selling from anywhere from 100 to $250. Um, they're very hard to find, um, especially when they're anything to do with the World's Fair. And so to find them is like a big deal and it was just a real treat. It kind of made my day and then my husband got a kick out of me being so excited about it. Um, I just carried it around mostly all day. Um, when we found this. So the, um, little inside the cushion, um, inside is in really pretty good shape. There is some, um, you know, damage from the light or and the age it has inscribed on the front Ida. So I guess this was Ida's jewelry box. Um, so I can just imagine, you know, some young lady or maybe went to the fair on a date or something or with her husband or I don't know. And then got this inscribed November 5th and it says November 5th, 04 on the backside. So it's hand etched um, in the glass and then it says Ida on the front. Um, so just a piece of like American history. It's really cool. So um, I have that listed at $159.99. Um, so you want a little piece of American history. The legs are a little bit bent. So it, it has been like, maybe it was in a drawer or something and it got shifted. Um, I did not try to straighten it because I watched on, um, oh, what is it called on PBS? And they say, like, unless you are a professional, like, person that restores stuff to not not try to do that kind of stuff um, because you can damage items and then it loses value and a lot of times people that buy stuff especially true antiques they do not want them restored unless it's by a professional so it is in its original condition from Ida directly to you and this was something I picked up at an estate sale so this was from the original owner's family. Um, and that is pretty cool. So a little bit of history. I was really excited to find that. Um, so that's my last item for you. Those will all go live on eBay. Um, 
on Wednesday. So if you're watching this and this video is live on Wednesday, you can find those at the link in the description of this video um, on my little store on eBay, Mighty Merchants. Um, check it out. Make me an offer and if they're still up there and um, I'll get it shipped out to you right away. Um, and if you are on Patreon and you're seeing this before they're posted live on eBay, you can just send me a message in Patreon and I will pull those down off of eBay so they'll never even go up there. And just tell me which item you want. You can pay the buy it now price and I will pay the shipping for one item. Um, so thanks a lot uh, for watching you guys and we'll see you tomorrow on Truth Tuesday with Sean. So take care. Thanks for watching.